I moved, we moved into uh, Renfrew Collingwood in 1963. I like being involved. That's the thing. Once you get sort of into it and you sort of got a flavor of it, it was like, this is what I like to do. I started out at Graham Bruce and then I became the head of the parent group. I really got involved with City Council. I really got involved with City Hall. And so I started getting involved in the high school. And mm -hmm. I also spent uh, a year, two years, two years working with the BC Teachers Federation. I never thought I would become an activist, but, but uh, it's something that I wanted to do. The neighborhood then was single family. Uh, my children played outside all the time, played at each other's houses, ran back and forth across the street. People, you know, sort of talked to each other. That was, that was the neighborhood then. It has slowly, it slowly morphed into the 80s and 90s where people started closing the windows and doors, whether it was safety or whatever, closing windows and doors and nobody talked to anybody. And it, it got to the stage where nobody talked to anybody. And, and children were considered that you had to be walked to school and all kinds of things happening. And I think now I, I really do see a slow sort of movement back away from that again. Where now people are suddenly second or third generations are starting to say, you know what, maybe there's a value in talking to my neighbor. One of the things I, I always did, and I still do, and that makes sure the community's involved. Even all the stuff we have done, we've always wanted to make sure that the community's voice, not our voice, was heard, but that the community was heard at all times. We all together have a voice, but yes, you have to stand up, and it's okay to stand up, and it's all right, even if you're in a small town, to be able to say something. You know? I like to see the young ones getting involved. I think that's the future. We need to do more about really encouraging people to come up and take on projects and fail and pass and whatever, which is hard for us to do because we tend to want to help them get through it. And, and, but sometimes you have to fail at something in order to get stronger to win something. And so I think we need to bring up more people and really strong encouragement of people to say, you know, you can do it. This, this community is known everywhere as being this type of community. Uh, that feels really good. Of all the things I feel good about is that, is that, that it has that reputation. I know what I do. You don't really need, for me, that's enough satisfaction to know. Yeah. I just did it. Yeah. I was able to get involved with it. And I look at this development and I look at everything that's happened in the last, you know, 30 years. And I'm thinking, you know what? I was part of it. Yeah. So maybe that's my legacy, is to say at least I was part of that, that development in this community. Yeah. And this community will live on no matter what, yeah. you know.